I'm going to show you how to create a wine glass using CV curves. So creating things using, oh, creating your own NURBS is extremely easy and it creates really cool results. And let's get started. So like I said, I'm going to create a wine glass and usually you could take an object like a sphere and modify it a lot to create our wine glass, but there's a much easier way and that's using CV curves. So what a CV curve is, is it's basically creating those control vertices that lead to creating an, a 3D object. So we're basically creating those and the edges involving it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to my front view. You always want to go to your front view. It just works the best. And I'm just going to kind of move this a little bit. Just using this just so I can kind of have the zero axis on the bottom give me a lot of room over here to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to create and I'm going to go to curve tools and I'm going to go to CV curve tool. So what you'll do is you'll get a little radio like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and I'm going to put the first ver control vertex right on the center point right there. So other than that, I'm just going to put a few more and this is going to create our base of our wine glass. You don't have to go crazy with how many control vertices you put on the bottom, but the more you add, the more detailed it will be. I feel that it's better to add more detail in the areas where you're actually going to need it over than the small areas like this. So I'm just going to go and I'm creating a line right here. And what I'm doing is I'm staying away from that center line and just kind of following up it just like that. And I don't have to go too, too crazy. If things aren't perfect, that's okay. And I'm just going to go up just like that. And this is going to go right up to the top and then down. And I'm going to go right back to the center line, just like that. Oops, it's a little off by a little bit. So I'm just going to put it there. Let me actually even that out a bit more. That looks good. So what I did was I drew what I feel is the best way of cre creating our wine glass. And the best way to visualize that is if you actually had a wine glass in front of you and you ran your finger and drew an invisible line along the edge, you would create this shape. So once I finish that, I'm going to hit enter. And this right here is my wine glass. Doesn't it look great? Well, it is still just a line. So what I'm going to do is make sure it's selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to surfaces and I'm going to click on the revolve button. We could go through the option box, change some of the settings, but at the default, it should be just fine. I'm going to click on that. And there's our wine glass. It looks great. We can use it and we can edit it, do whatever we want for it. So what I'm going to do is just show some of the things we could do with it. So if I wanted to go into the hole and just create very weird details. I could do that. If there's any little tweaks I want to make, I can. So if I want, let's just say I want this little area right here to be lower for whatever reason, or even higher. It's up to you. The one really cool thing about creating objects using CV curves is we still are left with this curve. And with that being said, anything we do to this curve will translate over to the object. So if I selected this control vertex right here and bring it out, in real time, you'll see those edits pop up on the actual object. So you could create really cool things without having to edit a lot of your uh, actual object. And it's just really great for getting a bunch of really cool details symmetrically around an object and creating things. People use these for th for creating uh, glasses, bowls, paths for animations to go on. There's a huge list, but I really like using it to create things like glasses. It saves a lot of time and a lot of frustration. And that's all you really need to do to create a wine glass.